a free energy generator using a powerful wrong magnet which is used in heavy watt speaker we will use this type of magnet and uh, with the combination of a bar magnet and horseshoe magnet and a round speaker back cover and a round magnet which is which we will attach it to a dc motor and see that how much quantity of emf we generated for that we will attach this uh, base of the speaker over this uh, and start winding a insulated copper wire over it for a maximum number of turns and see that what quantity of emf may be generated let's try this experiment and see what quantity of emf may be generated we can see that uh, we can try to generate a maximum emf with this powerful magnets let's start the experiment for that what we will do we will attach uh, this magnet is very powerful so we will attach this base of a speaker over this and start winding a copper coil over this so for that we will fix this base over the magnet with the glue and see that it is tightly attach in the center of the magnet so we have attached this in the center of the magnet now next we will start winding a insulated copper wire for a maximum number of turns in order to generate a maximum emf we have to leave a little bit for the connection and start winding the coil over it for the support we will fix the power magnet over it so that the coil will not be moved or removed away from it so we will apply the glue here so once it is been applied we will fix the bar magnet over this base so that it fix tightly once it is been done next we will start winding the insulated copper wire for maximum number of turns so we will leave the little bit uh, coil for the connection and start winding the coil over the speaker so we will wind it for a maximum number of turns so that maximum flux will link with the coil and due to rate of change of maximum flux a maximum ef can be generated through this coil so we have wound the maximum number of turns so that a maximum flux can link with the coil and generate maximum emf once the once we have wound it twist the endings so that the wire may not spill away so we have turned a maximum winding over the uh, base of the speaker speaker which is attached to the powerful round magnet and this magnet is supporting so that this uh, windings may not uh, spill out so once it is been done next we will so once it is been done next we can fix a horseshoe magnet above this for a maximum flux generation so we can attach this with a glue so that it can generate a maximum flux so once it is been done next we can fix the motor with a magnet so that so fix the center magnet over the center of the flywheel of the motor 
so that you can rotate this magnet in front of the motor once it is been fixed so now we will try to rotate this magnet in front of the coil and generate a maximum emf in the coil we can try to fix the motor in front of the coil and generate a maximum emf in the coil so we can fix it in front of the coil and generate a maximum emf for that we will fix the magnet uh, under the base so we will apply a little bit of glue and fix this magnet over this once it is been fixed tightly next we will fix the stand to hold the motor so that maximum flux can link with the coil so we will fix the wooden stand with the glue and see that a maximum flux can link with the coil once it is been done so next we will fix the motor over the stand so that uh, it, the magnet move around the coil once the motor is been fixed and uh, we can check whether uh, the magnet is free to move in front of this coil and check whether emf will be generated or not once it is been done we will do the connection of this coil with the terminals and the motor and see whether how much quantity of emf may be generated so once it is been done next we will connect the coils to the terminals for that we will fix the two terminals in front of the coil next we will give the connection to the two endings of the terminal of the windings of the coil so as to connect with the terminal so for that we will remove the insulation of the two terminals and connect the so that we can make the connection to get the emf whichever is induced in the coil once the flux linking with the coil changes so we will remove the insulation once it is been done next we will connect the terminals to these endings of the coil so once the connection is been done we will connect it with the terminals so we have done the connection to the two endings of the terminal now we will fix these terminals these windings to the two endings to the terminals in order to connect 
output of these terminals with the motor so that the motor can run with the free energy which is generated. So once it is been done, next we will fix the terminals in order to connect these two endings of the wire. Once the terminal is been fixed, next we will uh, connect the two endings of the terminal to these connections. Forward bias diode. So we have to connect a forward bias diode. To convert the AC generated into a half wave rectification for a DC conversion with the help of a half wave rectification. So once it has been done, we will connect the filter capacitor. Once it has been done, next we will connect the endings of the motor to the two endings of the terminal. So we have connected, next we will connect the other terminal. So our connection is finished. Once all the terminals are connected properly, we will check whether EMF will be generated or not. Once everything is been done, the two endings of the coil are connected to the terminals with the forward bias diode and a filter capacitor in order to convert the generated AC voltage into DC in order to drive the DC motor with the magnet. The magnet rotates in front of the coil thus generating a maximum flux linking with the coil changes and EMF is generated producing a free energy. For that, we will check with the multimeter what quantity of EMF is generated. For that, we have to give the torque to the magnet and see whether what quantity of EMF is generated. So we give a maximum torque to the motor and see whether what quantity of EMF it can generate. So here the magnet is started to move in front of the coil and the flux linking with the coil changes and EMF is generated in the coil thus driving the motor. We can check with the multimeter what quantity of EMF is generated. So we have kept the multimeter for 20 volt range and check what quantity of EMF it is generating. So here you can check uh, that is a 4.63 DC volt is been next we will connect the extension board to the terminal and check what quantity of EMF is been generated. Uh, glowing of the bulb indicates that EMF is generated in the coil. 
which works over the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes, EMF is generated in the coil. Thank you very much, friends, for watching the video. Thank you once again. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Your subscription will help me to create more videos. Thank you once again.